Hi, my name's Emma and I'm here today with Natasha. Hey. Today we're going to speak all about what is involved in a dance degree. So we've got Natasha here who's studying at the moment. Natasha, where are you studying? At Coventry University. Okay, and what's the name of your course? Dance Making and Performance. Dance making and performance. So we thought that we would make this video um, because in school you're not necessarily told about um, what is involved in something like a dance degree or a creative degree. We get taught lots about um, the more, I don't know, the posher degrees <laughs> and the more academic degrees. Um, but ones like dance and all that kind of stuff, we don't know much about. So we thought we'd quiz Natasha on what her course is like and what she gets up to. So hopefully, if you're somebody that wants to study dance at uni, this video will be really helpful for you. Okay, so how many years is your course? So my course is technically three years, but four years if you want to do a year abroad or like do an internship. So I did four years. I'm doing four years, yeah. And what is your favourite thing about your course? Favourite thing about my course is that I get to do what I love. Um, I feel like dance is something that I'm really passionate about and I have been passionate about it since I was a kid. What I love about dancing is that it just motivates you. Yeah, it's just something that you love and that you're doing and you know that you're doing it and it just... Yeah, just inside you. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So then, in the course as a whole, mm -hmm. what do you actually do? So, first year is contemporary technique classes. You also do ballet. We do have like a fitness thing on the side. Um, we have to run, we have to um, do Pilates as well, and we have to do yoga. As well as that, we also have like performances that we do, and we also have essays. In your second year, you have option modules. You get to work in the community. You can work in like a dance company as well. And you can also do something called negotiate a study. You pick any topic that you're interested in, and you research it. I based mine around culture because I was going on a field trip to Estonia. Ooh. So I was focusing on how different cultures affect your movement okay so that's really interesting and you also get to do a dance film as well which is really cool and then obviously if you're taking a year out um so i went abroad for three months where did you go to the u.s to oh. illinois for three months illinois illinois <laughs> yeah that was really really good experience and then I came back to do my final year. Final year is basically made up of your dissertation and your final major project. So in a dissertation for dance, mm -hmm. what do you write about? There's loads of different topics. First year and second year, you're obviously having like theory classes alongside it. So it's kind of like building up your research skills and um, different books that you're reading. So like for example in the first year we studied a lot about dance history and um, in second year we did loads of things with body mind centering which is mm. like how dance can affect your mind and your body. When you come to your third year you have like all of this knowledge and you can choose what you want to do. Yeah, I was really interested in cultures. I did mine about how my culture can, ha has affected my movement from um, secondary school times to like present. So I talked about, <laughs> it's called auto-ethnography, which is basically... Wait, what? <laughs> auto-ethnography. What? Auto-ethnography. Auto which is the study of oneself. So um, it's kind of like anthropology. So like, you know, when you like study humans and like mm -hmm. their behavior and like why they do the things that they do. So it's kind of like that, but um, it's studying basically how Dance has affected me as a person, where I like how my society, like where I live, and like the culture that I'm from, because it's not just um, English culture, also like my background, West African descent, so like how that is all like mixed, and if you can see it in my movement or if you can't, like stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. that's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew all of that goes into a dance degree. What kind of things did you need to have done before? Like, what was there something specific that you had to study at GCSE or A level or yeah. any kind of extracurricular activities? Um, well, for me, I did dance for GCSE and A levels, but I know that I think that you don't have to have them for GCSEs or A levels. I think you just have to have some type of dance background, and also um, you do auditions before you come. So. 
they get to see how you move and if you're like right for the course. So don't be afraid if you've not done like any dance courses or if you just feel like you want to dance and you go to the audition, I'm sure like they'll see that you want to do it. And then so obviously you've been on your course a long time now, well, <laughs> four years, um, and you've experienced lots of different things. What's been maybe the hardest or most challenging thing for you? It can be physically draining and like especially if you have like shows coming up and like you're in dress rehearsals like all day every day, like it's really really tough. But then it it's like all of that compared to like when you're actually on stage and like the, the adrenaline that you get from it like yeah. you can't even describe it yeah. it's, it's such a weird feeling it's worth it amazing yeah and then finally what kind of careers can come out of a dance degree is there many options what can you do um yeah there are a lot of options um you can be a teacher for one you can also be a freelancer performing teaching making work like choreographing stuff and you could also work in a dance company, so you can go behind the scenes. Mm, you can good. also go into like lighting, staging, um, you can do stuff like costume design as well, mm. marketing, social media, all of that stuff. So wow. there's loads of different things that you can do. And um, you can also be like artistic director, you can be an administrator. There's so and many there's options. So many options, yeah. That's so good. I never knew that you could do all of that with a dance degree. Yeah. That's amazing. So have you got any last bits of, of advice for anybody who's perhaps considering studying dance? Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? I would say if you really, really want to do dance, go for it. Don't let anyone stop you from doing what you love because if you know in your heart and you know that that's what you really want to do, I think you should just go ahead and do it. Amazing. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank and you. thank you guys for watching. We hope this video has really helped you. And we hope to see you dancing around at uni soon. So see you later. <laughs> Bye. I've Got Faith is the teen girl's guide to faith, beauty, and lifestyle. If you haven't heard of us before, then check it out below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.